So I just finished filming a YouTube video and I transferred the files that I got from my phone, which I used to record by the way, over to my computer and to my iPad. On the computer, we have Adobe Video Editor and on the iPad, we have LumaFusion. By the way, I'm not a video editor. I'm just some guy who makes videos on YouTube. LumaFusion is an app you can get for a one-time payment of $20. Adobe, on the other hand, is much more expensive, but I don't actually know what the real price is. The reason is because my good friend works for Adobe and he was able to get me lifetime membership for the Adobe Photoshop and the video editor for just $30. Anyways, this is my first time ever using the Adobe Video Editor, and so I wanted to just share my experience and what I think about the Adobe Video Editor versus LumaFusion. Up until now, I've only used LumaFusion because I think it works much better and has a lot more capabilities than iMovie. And many good things about the Adobe Video Editor and Final Cut Pro, uh, but I've never used any of those pro softwares before. So I'm happy to be able to try Adobe Video Editor for the first time today. All right, so already I can tell that I might have a little bit of difficulty using the Adobe Video Editor uh, because I don't know how to use it at all. Okay, this might take a little longer than I thought because I just don't know how to use it yet. Actually, I'm probably gonna have to get back to this tomorrow because I have to take a phone call and I'm not gonna be able to finish this until tomorrow. Good morning, it is the next day I changed my shirt and I'm about to start editing my video on Adobe Premiere Elements for the very first time. There's a few things I wanted to record during this experience. I wanna measure how long it takes me to edit the entire video. Once I get used to learning where all the different items are in the software itself, I wanna see how easy it is to use compared to LumaFusion. And of course, I wanna see the quality and the size of the file when the entire project is done. So pretty much after editing this project, I'm going to try to do the exact same edits using LumaFusion on my iPad pad and then compare the two identical projects at the end. Without further ado, I'm going to start editing this and I'll get back to you guys in just a bit. All right, so I'm done. The video is fully edited after taking an hour break for lunch. All in all, the video took mm, a little over two hours to edit. Considering that the entire video is only three minutes long, I think it took a little bit longer than I hoped to edit using the Adobe Premiere Elements. But again, that's because this is my very first time ever using the software, so I had no idea where any of the tools were or how to use them and stuff like that. For example, it took me a while to figure out just how to change the color of the text because the text color editor in here is not very intuitive. However, after getting used to it, I was able to see just how powerful this tool is. For example, I like how much easier it is to specifically set the RGB values when creating a custom color. Of course, working with a mouse and keyboard is always nice and comfortable. The toolbar on the right side is very useful and it has a lot more capabilities than the iPad. And the shake reduction tool is surprisingly really good. It is much better than the one that I have on my iPad. All right, so now that I've finished editing the video on the computer using Adobe Premiere Elements, now I'm gonna try to create the same edit using the iPad on LumaFusion. It's a pretty short and simple, not fancy video, so I don't think it should take very long. So I officially just finished editing the exact same video using LumaFusion on the iPad. It is an exact replica of the edit that was done on the computer. So same text, same colors, same image assets. The final edit even came out to be the exact same amount of time, three minutes and 17 seconds. And to finish doing all of that, this edit took around 45 minutes compared to a little over two hours when done on the computer. However, the reason why I was able to save so much time when using LumaFusion on the iPad is because I have already used it before. I already know how to use it, where everything is, and I didn't have any extra problems. Although LumaFusion doesn't have as many built-in tools as Adobe, I really like how LumaFusion is so intuitive and easy to use. The software itself runs a little bit more smoothly, and the main thing that I like about LumaFusion more than Adobe is the fact that I can just swipe on this screen and move one frame at a time, where I still don't know how to move one frame at a time using Adobe yet. And dragging and dropping transitions using LumaFusion is a little bit more intuitive and to me, a little bit easier to visually see. With that said, I'm now gonna be exporting both of these projects and I wanna see how fast both of these softwares can 
export the project and how big the project is when it's all done. All right, so now we're gonna see how long it takes to export both of these files. I'm gonna try to click save at the exact same time for both of them. So we're ready, set, go. And now it looks like LumaFusion is completely done exporting the file while Adobe is still only at 33%. Hold up, hold up. I'm changing my mind on a few things. First of all, I noticed that when playing the exported file for Adobe, that the image quality was not nearly as good as the image quality for the LumaFusion export. Upon further investigation, I realized that the file for the Adobe movie was only for 1080p whereas the LumaFusion one was 4K. So obviously because of that, the file size for the LumaFusion export is nearly five times the size as the Adobe export. After further investigation, I realized that the Adobe exports for Adobe Premiere Elements cannot be adjusted for 4K videos, which to now makes me wonder what is the point of having so many useful tools when you can't even export a high quality video above 1080p? Apparently there are ways to create custom presets for Adobe Premiere Elements, but apparently the max you can get out of that is 1440, not 4K. And the only way you're gonna get 4K, it looks like from what I've seen so far is you have to get Adobe Premiere Pro. So after all of that, three plus hours of filming and editing both of these videos, I'm gonna have to say that I still am going to be using LumaFusion on the iPad to edit videos simply because I can export videos with 4K. Plus, it's only a one-time payment of $20. The only way I was able to get Adobe Premiere Elements for $30 is because I have a friend who works at Adobe, so he was able to get me a special price. It normally doesn't cost $30, and I think it's like a monthly membership fee that you have to pay. So again, I'm giving this one to LumaFusion. I'm gonna be using this from now on. <laughs> This was, it almost makes me feel like I wasted my time editing and doing all of this for Adobe. But nonetheless, it was a good experience for me to learn how to use the software, get familiar with it. So hopefully in the future, if I am able to get my hands on Premiere Pro, then it'll be easier for me to use that. With that said, before I start ranting about other silly things, I wanna thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful by any means or entertaining or whatever, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and a subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video.